If your cameras are offline and you've already tried troubleshooting steps such as ensuring the LAN port is connected to your network, enabling DHCP on the NVRs, and confirming the HTTP and RTSP ports are open on your router, then your device may be offline because the IP address of your network keeps changing. In this video, I'll show you how to solve this issue by setting up a DDNS server on your NVR. Usually, we recommend creating an easy cloud account to access your Uniview NVR. This is the easiest way to access your device since you don't have to configure any ports on your router. However, if you want a bit more control over your device, you can connect directly to your NVR using the external IP address of your router. Logging into your NVR using the IP address is typically faster and more secure. What may happen though, is after a few weeks, your IP address will change and the device will go offline. This is because most home and business internet connections use what's called a dynamic IP address. A dynamic IP address is one that is assigned to you temporarily, and this can cause headaches if you're trying to connect to it on a daily basis. Imagine if every few weeks, your street address moved to a different house. You try to open the door, realize it's locked, and see a message on the door telling you that the address has been changed. This is basically how a dynamic IP address works. There are a couple ways to solve this. So we know that a dynamic IP can cause issues when trying to connect to your cameras. How can we solve this? There are three ways to solve this, two of which I don't recommend. You could pay for a static IP address from your internet service provider, which is usually an additional $30 a month. Or you could also purchase a DDNS server subscription from a website such as dyn.com, which costs around 60 bucks a year. However, the third solution is by setting up an easy DDNS. This is a free DDNS server that is provided by Uniview. It works with all of their NVRs and IP cameras. Setting up an easy DDNS is quick and easy. First, log into your NVR through the web interface. After logging in, go to Setup, Network, and DDNS, and then turn the DDNS on and select Easy DDNS Type from the main menu. Then you'll want to enter a domain name. So this could be anything you want. I'm gonna go ahead and enter XLR Security and click Test to ensure that it's available as you could not have the same domain as somebody else. Once you've selected your domain name, go ahead and click Save and then to make sure that it's working and it comes online, quickly change to a different menu and then back to the DDNS menu and you should see device status online. And that means that it's working. Now that easy DDNS is set up, you can connect to your cameras in three different ways. First, you can connect through the EasyView app on your smartphone. Open the EasyView app, navigate to the devices page and click manual add. Then, Select Easy DDNS at the top, enter your domain name and NVR password, then click Save. The device should come online momentarily. You can also connect to the Easy DDNS using EasyStation on a Windows or Mac computer. Open Device Management, click Add, set the adding mode to Easy DDNS, and enter your device's information. After a few seconds, it should come online. Lastly, you can type the domain address directly into your web browser and log in through there. This works great if you need to change the settings on your NVR quickly. If you have difficulties in getting the easy DDNS server working, make sure that your router supports UPnP and the ports 80 and 554 are open on your router. I don't cover how to open the ports in this video, but if you'd like me to make a tutorial on port forwarding, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.